Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will look at number bonds to 20 for addition. Okay. Now, so far, we've used quite a few different methods for numbers below 20. Okay, I'm just going to write these down. We've used the dot method. That's when we draw the dots above the box. We have used the number line. And for the number line, we have counted the number of jumps we make to get to the answer. And we've also used the head and fingers method. And this is useful when you don't have pen or paper and you really want to shine in front of the teacher or in front of mum and dad and show them how clever you are. Now you can use either of these methods for number bonds to 20. We're going to look at a different method which hopefully will make this a lot simpler. Okay, on the left hand side I'm going to draw the numbers from 0 and we're going to keep going. Now, this is very good practice and I want you to do this as well. Okay, so we've got 0 to 10 on the left hand side. Okay, we're going to now write the numbers in the second column starting from 10 and this time we're going to go upwards. Make sure the numbers match. Okay, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and you should get to 20 at the top. So 0 to 10 on the left hand side, on the right hand side start at 10 and go up to 20. Now, what do we notice about these numbers? Well, they all add to 20. 1 plus 19 is 20. 2 plus 18 is 20. 3 plus 17 is 20, and so on. Okay. Okay, just got two more to do. So again, 9 plus 11 is 20, and 10 plus 10 is 20. Now I'm just going to write down here at the top, equals 20. So each set of numbers adds to 20. Okay, it's very important you learn how to do this, because at this stage I want you to understand what we're doing, and later on I want you to be able to remember these off by heart. So let's have a look at our first question. Okay, we've got 11 plus something equals 20. 11 plus something equals 20. Now have a look at this. Now because it equals 20, we can use the numbers on the left. Okay, there is equals 20 on the left. And we've got 11. So can you find 11 from the numbers in yellow on the left? Well, 11 is over here. Okay, and what number is next to 11? It is 9. That is our answer. 11 plus 9 equals 20. So you see how simple it is. Okay, let's have a look at one more. We got question 2. Okay, this time we have something we have at the beginning plus 6 equals 20. So something plus 6 equals 20. So again, this time we're equally equaling 20, so we can use the numbers on the left, but this time we're starting at number 6. So can you find 6 on the left hand side? Well, it's over here. There we go, there's 6, and what number is next to 6? It is 14. And that is the answer. 14 plus 6 equals 20. So I want you to use this method because it is very important. You know this. And hopefully over a period of time, you'll get to know these numbers off by heart. Such as 4 and 16 is 20. 8 and 12 is 20. 19 and 1 is 20. Okay, so have a practice with this. Find the missing number with number bonds to 20 for addition.